Welcome, citizen of the verse. Valsim here. In this first week of 2024, I will take you on a journey through the vast expanse of Star Citizen and explore the vulture with a tractor beam and make detailed tests. How can you use the tractor beam? Is it worth to keep it on your vulture or change it with a salvage head as it was before? I will try to answer those questions and to some more in the following recording. Let's dive in. Many of you are asking why making a recording for something that was introduced in patch 3.21 while well, now we are at patch 3.22. The answer is simple. I like the way I was using my vulture with two salvage heads, two cinch modules or two upgrade modules and I was turning the vulture around the ship that I had to salvage. However, somebody suggested in the comments of one of my recordings that he is using the tractor beam and doing some interesting stuff. So I told myself that it will be a good idea to make a short recording where I'm making a deep test of the tractor beam installed on a voucher. So the first action for me was to go back where I switched the tractor beam for me port Tressler and buy also an extra upgrade module. The upgrade cost 1250 Alpha UC and you can buy it in different places. I decided to make the following new setup for my voucher. The first setup is with two upgrade modules for the left and right salvage heads and the second setup is with one upgrade module for the right salvage head and the tractor beam for the left salvage head. Let's dive in to our first test with a small ship. In this case I took a vulture contract and I will use the tractor beam. Very important before starting the use of the tractor beam is to check, learn and if necessary set up your key bindings related to the use of the tractor beam as well as the possibility to switch between left and right salvage heads. So let's see some more details. First open the option key bindings advanced controls and then go to salvage. First check the key bindings for the toggle fire left and right and toggle fire fracture and disintegrate. However, the important key bindings for the use of the tractor beam are the following. Focus all left or right salvage heads. Those are the key bindings I will use for the tractor beam. On the screen you have the status of the salvage head left here and the one on the right here. When turning on the salvage heads with M by default both heads are on. To turn on the focus on the left head push left alt plus A and you see that only the left head remains highlighted while the right one is dimmed. If you want to switch to the right head first use left alt plus S to turn on all heads and then use left alt plus D to keep the right head on and to put off the left head. Now let's put back the left head with the tractor beam and start turning the ship to match the best position for us to salvage it. You can keep pushing R and use the mouse for the pitch and yaw movements the same way you are using it with your personal tractor beam. Indeed it's very easy to turn the ship. And now we are ready to start salvaging. Finish with the salvage from this side and now I will turn again the ship using the tractor beam. First going to the middle of the ship in the center, then switching the modules with the right mouse button and uh, now also turning on only the left head where is the tractor beam and when I'm ready I can start turning the ship on the same way as I did 
just a couple of uh, seconds with the same ship so again I'm just uh, repeating you push R you keep it and then with the mouse you pitch and yeah the ship and now it's much much easier and we are ready I will move now to the second ship to be tested with the tractor beam on a voucher and this is a 400i which is a ship from the 20,000 alpha UEC salvage contract I will not repeat all the details from the first test but will only show you that the tractor beam can be used with the 400i and is very easy to turn the ship what conclusion I can make personally I like this new setup for my vulture and I will keep it like that with a tractor beam installed it's helping when used correctly to easily turn the ship without the necessity to move and position your vulture keep it simple use only those key bindings that you know even that is not the full list related to the use of the tractor beam I hope you liked my recording and learned something which will help you complete your salvage missions with the vulture in more easy and efficient way. If you liked what you saw, please push the button and subscribe to my channel. This is a new and small channel, so any additional support from you will be very much appreciated and will help develop the channel and allow me to continue making new recordings for you. Thank you. In the beginning of 2024, or 2954, if we are speaking in terms of Star Citizen time, I would like to wish you all the best for the new year. A lot of health and happiness. The new year is expected to be the most important of Star Citizen, with a lot of new features that are expected to be pushed in the live PU for us the players to experience new incredible moments while playing Star Citizen. As always, I will try to cover as much as possible from this new continent from the point of view of an average player in order to help you play Star Citizen in much, in much more easy and fun way. Hope to see you this year again. All the best. Take care.